couple of years ago, I came across some research that showed that one of the most he healthiest foods you can eat are blueberries. Uh, I, up until that time, I actually wasn't eating blueberries. I just really never never developed a great taste for fruits and vegetables. But in, in going through the research, uh, I decided to do an article on, on blueberries based on a couple of studies that were astounding that I found related to the effect blueberries has on health. Among these were an animal study showing that when they gave, I believe it was rats or mice, I forget, this was many years ago, uh, that when they gave them blueberry extract, uh, it actually reverted their brain function uh, back to youthful uh, efficacy. In other words, in simple terms, it can, uh, if you gave it to a human, in other words, if you extrapolated the results of this rodent study to humans, it would be taking like a 65-year-old human and giving them a blueberry extract where their brain function reverts back to the way it was when they were 19 years of age. And I was very impressed by that, and I decided to research blueberries. And uh, even back then, there was a ton of interesting research. So I'm going to talk about some of that research in here and why I think just about everybody, even if you don't like fruits and vegetables, everybody, if you're interested in brain health and, and just good overall health, you should consider adding blueberries. Now, I just want to stay at the onset. A lot of people wonder whether there's a difference between frozen blueberries and, uh, let's say, the fresh blueberries. Well, there is a difference right off the bat. Fresh blueberries, and I use the word fresh in parentheses that you get at a supermarket or, you know, a health food store or whatever, uh, they actually are about three times more expensive, especially today where all the prices of food across the board have gone up. Fresh blueberries are very expensive and the odd thing is that frozen blueberries actually have a higher amount of nutrients that compared to the fresh blueberries and they're a lot less expensive uh, so if you're going to try blueberries you're better off buying the frozen blueberries they're, they're much uh, cheaper uh, there's two basic categories there's organic non-organic probably doesn't make much of a difference to tell you the truth I buy organic. Uh, you know, I, I get my blueberries. I get it from Costco. It's it's about seven bucks a bag. It's a big bag. Lasts me for you know at least two three weeks. I use blueberries almost, or else I I should say I ingest blueberries almost every day. Uh, my whey protein drink, which is my usual first meal or breakfast, if you want to call it that. Although I don't eat at breakfast at the same time that most people do. But my first meal is a uh, protein drink consisting of isolated whey, a cup of blueberries, and a cup of strawberries, which also have a, a lot of health properties. Uh, and, uh, and I add water to it. That's my uh, drink. And, and I take a couple of supplements with it. But back to blueberries, there's basically two types. One's called high bush blueberries. And that's the most common uh, type of blueberry found in the U.S., then they, they have what they call low, bu low bush or wild blueberries. Now, wild blueberries you'll see in some stores like Trader Joe's. They're you know, a little bit, uh, they're a little small. They're very small compared to the, you know, the high bush blueberries. Uh, bl wild blueberries are very small, but actually they actually are richer in antioxidants compared to the high bush blueberries, which are the larger blueberries, which are more common. Uh, a cup of uh, blueberries contains 3.6 grams of fiber. It contains 16% of the daily requirement for vitamin C, 24% of the daily recommended amount of vitamin K, 22% of the uh, re recommended amount of the trace mineral manganese and a couple of other nutrients. Uh, blueberries themselves, are uh, like most fruits, is mostly water. In the case of blueberries, they're 85% water. And a, a whole cup of blueberries only contains 84 calories and 21.5 grams of carbohydrate. So it's, it's not bad at all. It can be used on just about any diet, with the possible exception of ketogenic diet. But even there, if you, ha you can have a half a cup of, of uh, blueberries, it'll give you about 10 grams of carbs, and you can still stay in a, uh, on the ketogenic diet. The big feature about blueberries is it's antioxidant. It has a, uh, a type of antioxidant in it called anthocyanins, which are very, very potent and, and uh, you know, provide a lot of health benefits related to lowering uh, some of the effects of aging and, and decreasing the risk for certain types of cancer. Uh, 
so blueberries, uh, you know, on the list of uh, antioxidant content of various fruits and, and foods, blueberries are always at the top of the list because of their content of this anthocyanins, as they're called. They're a type of a polyphenol, which are very, very potent and have a lot of health benefits. Among the health benefits of uh, consuming blueberries are a re- reduction of DNA damage. DNA stands for deoxy- deoxyribonucleic acid, this is basically the, the uh, chemical blueprint of cells, cell replication. When DNA is damaged, you have aging. Uh, that's one of the main causes of aging. And if the DNA gets mutated, then you have cancer. So, uh, you know, you want to do everything you can to protect uh, against oxi- oxidation effects of DNA. And blueberries are very potent in that effect. They will help protect in one study. 168 people drank 34 ounces of mixed blueberry and apple juice each day. And after four weeks, the measured oxidative damage due to free radicals was reduced by 20%, which is pretty good. Uh, the, you can, uh, that was a, uh, uh, you know, a drink, but you could also get it from fresh blueberries. Uh, there's blueberry extracts that are sold as supplements. I don't, wouldn't waste my money on them. Because they're, you know, they're kind of expensive and you'd have to take like a hundred of them to equal like a cup of strawberries. I mean, blueberries, they're just a waste of money. Forget about blueberry extracts and supplement form. You got to eat the actual blueberry. There's no getting around it. Blueberries will also help protect against cardiovascular disease because they help prevent the oxidation of low density lipoprotein cholesterol. LDL, cholesterol as it's called, uh, is the main cholesterol carrier in the blood. And it's only dangerous when it's oxidized. When it's not oxidized, it merely delivers cholesterol to cells, including the testes. In the cells, cholesterol is used for the uh, building of cellular membranes. Uh, in the testes, cholesterol is the raw material for testosterone. So a lot of people label LDL as bad cholesterol. That's not really true. It's only bad or dangerous when it's oxidized. If you could keep it from being oxidized, it's actually beneficial. And this is where blueberries come in because it helps prevent the oxidation of LDL cholesterol. Uh, Another powerful nutrient to prevent that is uh, coenzyme Q10, which is actually incorporated in the LDL cholesterol, prevents it from being oxidized, but that's another story. A a daily two ounce uh, serving of freeze dried blueberries lowered LDL oxidation by 28% in eight weeks in people who were obese, which is pretty good. Another study found that eating 2.5 ounces of blueberries also reduced the oxidation of so-called bad LDL cholesterol. Another another, uh, risk factor for cardiovascular disease is high blood pressure or hypertension. Uh, Again, studies show that blueberries provide significant health benefits in helping to lower high blood pressure. An eight-week study showed that people who were obese, who had a high risk of heart disease, noted a 4 to 6% reduction in blood pressure after consuming two ounces of freeze-dried blueberries a day. Uh, And that's kind of comparable to some of the blood pressure drugs that uh, physicians prescribe. uh, But unlike the drugs, blueberries have zero side effects. Uh, uh, as I said, uh, a, a study of ni- ninth, a study of ninety three thousand six hundred nurses found that those who had the highest take of anthocyanins, which are the main oxidants in blueberries, were at a thirty two percent lower risk of heart attacks compared to uh, other nurses that didn't consume blueberries. So, they also, uh, as I said earlier. The really exciting thing to me about blueberries, well, this is all important, but the thing that's really interesting about blueberries is its effect on the brain. Uh, Oxidative stress is known to accelerate brain aging, uh, and uh, the antioxidants in blueberries can affect the the parts of the brain that are involved with intelligence, such as the hippocampus. It It helps protect neurons in the hippocampus area of the brain from oxidation that breaks them down. So, uh, it also, it seems to, uh, uh, blueberries nourish brain neurons or brain cells, which increases the cell signaling, neuro- neuronal signaling in the brain, which also has a lot to do with memory and intelligence. Uh, in one study, nine older adults who had what they call mild cognitive impairment 
that's what they call senior moments, like, you know, where you forget things. It's not dementia, it's just a minor memory defect that occurs in a lot of people over the age of 50. Uh, well, they gave them blueberry juice every day, and after 12 weeks, they showed significant improvement in, in brain function, including memory and intelligence. Another six-year study that looked at 16,000 older people, older meaning over 50, found that blueberries and strawberries were linked to delays in mental aging by 2.5 years. Uh, I think it's actually more than that, but that's, you know, that's a conservative study. Uh, the anthocyanin antioxidant uh, polyphenols in blueberries can also help prevent diabetes. Uh, and now a cup of blueberries does contain about 15 grams of sugar, which is about the same amount you get in a small uh, or medium-sized orange. But the uh, bioactive compounds that are found in blueberries completely negate the sugar content of blueberries. Uh, the, uh, the anthocyanin content of blueberries has beneficial effects on insulin sensitivity and glucose me metabolism. Uh, a study of 32 obese people who had insulin resistance showed that uh, having two blueberry smoothies each day caused major improvements in insulin sensitivity. Uh, insulin insensitivity is also called prediabetes, and it's uh, a harbinger of uh, future development of diabetes. doesn't mean that you're going to get diabetes for sure, but it shows that you basically you're on the way uh, with insulin insensitivity. Uh, there's uh, other studies that show that uh, blueberries can help fight urinary tract infections. This tends to be more common in women because of women's anatomy. Uh, and uh, the uh, cranberry juice is a known preventive, has a known preventive effect uh, on uh, prevent, uh, preventing of uh, urinary tract uh, infections because the cranberry juice prevents the adhesion of, of bacteria onto the bladder wall. Uh, now, uh, blueberries actually can do almost the same thing. They, uh, they, they, uh, they prevent bacteria that are the common cause of urinary tract infection, infections, such as E. coli, from binding to the wall of the bladder. In other words, they just well, if it can't ad if the bacteria can't adhere or stick onto the bladder walls, there's no infection. Uh, so, uh, related to exercise, blueberries can help reduce muscle damage. They, uh, they help reduce inflammation, and uh, they also, uh, they also ex a study of 10 female athletes showed that blueberries a uh, accelerated muscle recovery after doing strenuous uh, leg exercises. So uh, I just want to see the details of that particular study. Yeah, that was, uh, it had to do with uh, what they call exercise-induced muscle damage which is usually caused by negative muscle contractions or the lowering of a weight. This causes more m damage to muscle fibers, and it turns out uh, giving uh, these women uh, uh, the blueberries uh, five or 10 hours prior to and then immediately, and 12 and 36 hours after uh, exercise dramatically reduced uh, muscle soreness and increased muscle recovery. So there you go. So uh, that's basically, uh, that's it for strawberries. Uh, I think, I'm, I'm, I'm strawberry, blueberries. As I said, I myself, I take blueberries. Again, I, I put it in my whey protein drink. Uh, there was a, a couple of studies came out uh, a couple of years ago suggesting that uh, one of the milk proteins called casein can lock on to polyphenols such as the anthocyanins that are found in blueberries and basically prevent them from being absorbed. Uh, I don't believe that's true. Uh, I think that was an animal study or possibly what they call an in vitro study, which is, involves uh, exposing cells out of the body to, uh, uh, to blueberry extract or something like that. So I don't think it happens in an intact, intact human body. And I, I, there's been studies that show that you do absorb blueberries when you take in a, a milk protein. As I said, I use whey protein. Uh, the whey doesn't have casein, but it makes no difference. Uh, I, 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 I get the full benefit of, of uh, blueberries. And I, I also like to add strawberries to the drink, too, because strawberries provide other types of antioxidants uh, and a couple of valuable nutritional factors. So that's what I do. So if you want more information on nutrition, exercise, science, anti-aging research, uh, uh, women's health and fitness, ergogenic aids, hormonal therapy, 
supplement science, which supplements work, which ones don't. Subscribe today to my Applied Metabolics, www.appliedmetabolics.com. It's 30 to 45 pages every month. No ads, just evidence-based true information based on my over 60 years of experience and study and, of course, the current science. Uh, There's nothing made up, uh, and if I give my opinion, I'll label it as such. Everything's evidence-based. It's the truth. Uh, it, it's an antidote to all the nonsense and BS that, that's on the internet. Uh, it's it, I, I've been a writer for over 45 years, so everything is in simple English. Any technical terms that are discussed in the newsletter, I, I readily explain, so you don't have to look up uh, any terms in a medical dictionary or anything like that. So subscribe today, www.appliedmetabolics.com. When you subscribe, send me an email. I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolic Facebook page, where each day I post new information on exercise, nutrition, and medicine. Uh, also, I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics webpage, where current subscribers only can send me short questions about anything they might have read in Applied Metabolics, or anything related to nutrition and exercise, and I'll be happy to answer as a appreciation of your subscription. Of course, that only applies to people who have subscribed. Uh, I, I don't have time to answer unsolicited questions. So, you know, you're welcome, however, to leave comments under these videos, videos about uh, any suggested topics for future videos. <coughs> and also, um, what else? Uh, that's about it, really. So if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. Thank you for listening.